I'm going to review two books together rather briefly, Apples Never Fall and The Rooster Bar. These for me were quick modern day reads, beach reads or something to take on a trip. And I enjoyed them both and I definitely got into the plot and wanted to know the ending for both books. Apples Never Fall is a, a family story, a tennis family story, and there's skeletons in the closet, that kind of thing. The Rooster Bar is a quick read, and I did enjoy it, and I love the fact that these three law students kind of paid attention to what was really going on, thanks to their friend, and through a tragedy, they went for it and took the risks they felt they needed to take to solve their problems. It reminded me much of the ending of The Firm. You definitely feel for these three law students and you understand the choices that they made to respond to those problems. A little crazy, so you definitely keep reading. I hope you pick it up. My favorite part of Apples Never Fall was the description of the parents on their vacation. I just felt like it was very real and they talk about going on this trip that they've always wanted to do and then missing it all together, which is a really big fear of mine. I guess that's my one great takeaway from that book and so I'm very glad I read it because Jordan Peterson, a podcast that I listened to, um, a well-known psychologist, and speaker says that fiction sometimes is more truth than a biography. Your Girl Tuesday is in the middle of White Horn Woods by Maeve Binchy, which I have not visited a Maeve Binchy village and town through her books in quite some time, and I'm enjoying that and remembering why I like her as an author. You just get lost in the book. You don't even... There is no analysis. It is just interesting and quick, short chapters. So I'm enjoying that. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great week and we'll see you soon.